What's good YouTube? It's your girl Pearl and I'm back with another lesson content for the channel. So in today's video, you guys, this video was requested by Yvonne B. Mary. I don't know if I pronounced the name very well. Shout out to you, Yvonne. So she commented and then she asked me to do a video concerning nursing school essentials or items that you're going to need for nursing school so in today's video that is what we are going to do so if you're new to my channel or you enjoy content like this don't forget to give this video a fat thumbs up subscribe if you are new let us hop right into the video so moving straight ahead into the video i do not have much on my list here but it's a little that i am a Ghanaian nurse okay every single thing that we needed when we went to school is what i have here or every single thing that we were requested to bring when we got to school we didn't know them before going there but when we went there there were some stuffs that he asked us to buy or something but i feel you're supposed to know them before you go there so that maybe in case you are not prepared financially for all that um accoutrement in school then you already have them if you already bought them before coming to the school all right so yeah i'm just gonna insert a few pictures of the the items for you guys to know what i'm talking about since most of us are non nursing students or we are most of us are now applying to the nursing school so we may not be familiar with most of the equipment okay so every single thing that i'm going to mention i'll make sure to insert a video here here or here anywhere for you guys to know what you know, i'm on the first item you're going to need is um your scraps okay i'm going to insert a picture for you here you're going to need your scraps and then your crocs or the scrap shoes of late in ghana it's it has turned into a fashion people wear the crocs as fashion like they wear it out on a normal day and then all that you're going to need a pair of scraps and then your crocs as well because you're going to go for clinicals and then that's what you're going to wear in the ward okay especially in the maternity that is what we wear in the maternity we don't mostly wear it with our uniforms in the maternity since we are exposed to blood and then all types of all types of you know so when you get to work you wear your crocs and then your scraps okay so you're going to need that as an essential number one okay so if you can get that before going to school fine or you want to go and buy it in the school fine Ghanaian nurses, I'm talking to the Ghanaian nurses. item I would like to um, talk about is a nice backpack, a simple nice backpack that you can take along when you're going for clinicals. That's where you can keep your pen and then your notebook and then your maybe your earpiece, your phones, a very simple nice backpack that you can keep all your essentials in when you go to the ward okay so this is basically about the items you're going to need for clinicals okay i'm going to come back to the items that you're going to need for class later on okay so you're going to need a nice backpack where you can put your earpiece your phone your pen your notebook something you know your money so that it won't be in your pocket and then you just be going around with it all right so you keep it in the backpack and then leave it in the nurse's room okay yeah so that's it for it first you need your scraps and your scrap shoes and then you need a nice backpack to keep your your petty stuffs okay your like your mini stuff another thing that you're going to need when you go to the nursing school is what a breast watch or a nurse's watch so it's it's a cute watch that we put right here on our uniform or our scraps okay it's mostly customized in different ways some have nursing written on it it's a nice watch i'm going to insert a video a picture here for you to see don't worry about that so um, um it's a it's a watch that we actually put here just to check the time so we are not allowed to wear wrist watch in the ward okay you can wear it to class but you can't wear it to the ward so when you're going to the ward you wear your your nurse's watch or your breast watch okay so that's what you are you, you used to check um vital signs for your patient since it's, it's also checked according to time okay so you're going to need a breast watch all right also you're going to need badge clips or name tags okay badge clips or name tags and then this particular one is going to be provided by the school okay when you go your 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 information or your details are going to be taken and then the school is going to prepare a name tag for you that you're going to put right here at the top and then your breast watch will be below okay so that's where you're going to need that for clinicals like so that nobody addresses you as hey hey miss or something with your name on it and then the course you are offering plus the name of the school in addition okay so that particular one you don't need to get from the house you're going to be provided or the school is going to provide you with that okay. and then also you are going to need a notebook for jotting down um stuff that you learn on the word a simple notebook a very cute notebook that you're going to need to jot down simple things that you notice on the word to write everything that you learn on the word some things that you feel you can't remember you jot them down on the notebook you're going to need pen and pencil those are some basic essentials that you're going to need obviously if you need a notebook you're going to need a pen or a pencil okay so you need a notebook and also you're going to need a sphigno manometer 
it's fake no manometer mostly we call it this fake okay it is used for checking the blood pressure okay so as a student someone will say it's not necessary for you to get one but when you get one you can go to check your father's bp in the house okay so it's essential that you need them when we went to school they asked us to buy some okay we have this portable one that's the digital one not the one that you have to like um pump like this before yeah we have the digital one that you just wrap the cuff around the person and then you just press something in it so you need something like that okay so that you'll be able to use it on clinicals on clinicals and then even during examinations we are advised to use our own um, vital signs items to check the vitals for our clients okay so you're going to need a fake no manometer okay that's the apparatus used for checking the bp and then you're going to need a thermometer as well to check the temperature okay so you're going to need that to check the temperature and also you need that for a basic nursing class when you're in a, a basic nursing class maybe while the teacher or the tutor is um teaching okay they will ask for you to pray like um practice it for the teacher to know okay you know what you're about you understand so you're going to need that as well so you're going to need a fake and then a thermometer as well and then also you're going to need a stethoscope okay so the stethoscope is mostly used along with the um, the manual BP apparatus to check the blood pressure. Okay, you're going to need a stethoscope as well when checking the blood pressure. Okay, so all these essentials, you can either get it from the house before going to the school or when you get to the school, most times they sell some in the school, but it's quite expensive, so you can get it from the house before going. Okay, or if you have, you are loaded with cash, you can go and buy all of that in the school. No problem, but you just need them. Another thing you're going to need is a hand sanitizer, considering the fact that we are not in normal times. That is, even when we are in normal times, you still need a hand sanitizer around you every time you go to the hospital. Like, because you come into contact with people suffering from various types of diseases, and then you need to protect yourself as well. So, anytime you go to the hospital, anytime you go for clinicals, you need a hand sanitizer on you. Whenever you come or you, you go into, you come into contact with a patient. After that, you have to rub um, an alcohol hand sanitizer on your hand just to prevent um infection okay cross infection all right yeah. another thing that you you might as well need and uh, during your clinicals on the ward will be some nursing apps okay we have a whole lot of nursing apps that you might need to show you some of them talk about they have a whole lot of things that the nursing apps talk about okay some some are dictionaries uh, uh, containing nursing things some are um, um, apps containing all the instruments that we use in nursing or all the instruments that we use in hospital with their names and then their uses so you have various types of apps that will come in handy when you go to the ward okay so you when you get there you need to download some of them and then like get abreast with some of the things that you are, you are you are not so familiar with all right so that's basically some of the things that you need for clinicals when you go to school okay for the clinical aspect when you go to school but for a normal school like normal going for normal class since we go for class as well and then go to the water so so for the class you're going to wear a uniform and then the uniform is going to be provided by the school your uniform is going to be provided by the school if you can sew some from the house that's totally optional you can sew your uniform from the house or you're going to buy from the school that's one thing and you're going to need a pair of black and then brown shoes that's if you are um, um, wearing a green uniform but if you're going to the university and you're going to be wearing white then you're going to wear a white shoe and then a white socks but if you are going to the nursing training college then you are going to wear your green uniform with a pair of black or brown shoe and so when you are going depending on where you are going whether the training college or the university you buy according to what you are going to wear okay so you wear uh, your black or brown shoe you buy your black or brown shoe please you don't wear sandals to school it's strictly black or brown shoe you can wear the sandals aside school outside school or if it's not uniform you can wear the sandals okay yeah and then also you need to take along some mufti or like house attire for school programs because there are lots of programs that goes on in the school we don't just we are not just nurses for like being nurses but we have src weeks that goes on in the school we have a lot of programs that we like church service and then all that so a lot of programs that happens in the school so you need some muftis like nice muftis that you can wear for all those programs and then yeah and then all right
moving on to the books that you're going to need in nursing school so i think you're going to need um a notebook they are going to it and especially when you go for first year okay when you go to the first year most times our handouts are not um, um uh, given to us on time okay we can even go like a month without handouts all right we provide they provide us with handouts in school that you're going to pay for now you don't have to buy from the house what are you going to you understand you don't have to buy the house handouts from the house you're going to be provided with the like by the course tutors okay they make their own handouts for us in school so when you go and then within like the first month couple of months you are not giving your handout you can have a notebook and then while the tutor is teaching because you'll be writing quizzes okay so you need to jot something down so you can have your nice notebook and then write something down so i think that's basically it for the books the books depending on the course that you are offering they have books that you are going to buy okay they have books that are like the midwives you have to buy mouse so we have virals and then all that that ones are not going to be provided by the school for you okay mouse and then so we have virals we were asked to buy them and then we still have them okay so depending on i am a midwife so that's the books that we needed but if you're a nurse you're going to have your own books that are going to help you that when you go there they're going to tell you okay you have to buy this you have to get this you have to get that okay but when you go and uh, like the first quarter most times if your handouts are not be given to you you have to jot down stuffs they are going to revise for a quiz or something that you'll be able to revise okay when you have a quiz that's literally it for the book you don't need to carry no you can get it i mean you can even get a simple exercise book just to jot something down okay that's it with the books okay you don't need much you're going to be provided you're going to be provided with handouts in the school okay that's what you are going to use throughout your 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 life in nursing training college okay yeah. and then also if you're going to be in a boarding house okay just like shs you're going to need some i don't know i don't mostly in the in the hostels in the nursing they are not allowed to bring cooking utensils they cook for them i don't know about other schools but in my school they cooked for the those who stayed in the hostel okay they cooked for those who stayed they give them breakfast lunch and then supper so they are you are not allowed to bring um electric electric gadgets like rice cooker and then all those stuff to the hostel okay because you are being provided with food okay so you just go if you are going to be in the hostel just like you went in shs you just pick your bag full of your stuff your nighty and then all that and even if you are going to rent you already know what you are supposed to carry whatever you need you already know so i don't think i'm supposed to dive so much into that because you already know what you need and then you pick according to it but when you're going to the hostel you don't need to go with all those electronic gadgets because they might seize them okay so i think yeah that's basically it that's the little i can see that's for Ghanaian nurses that is what we require like that's what we are we are being required to 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 get before we go to the nursing school okay so yeah i hope this video was helpful to you i hope you enjoyed today's video and then shout out to yvonne once again for requesting this video to be done and then yeah if you have any questions comments or suggestions please feel free to drop it down in the comment section down below and don't forget to give this video a fat thumbs up and then subscribe and then hit the notification bell as well so that you don't miss any of my upload please subscribe or else god will judge you okay so yeah i'm gonna see you guys in my next video and until next time you guys peace i'm out bye